Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We're looking at a live screen. This is an active desktop. It's not my desktop. It's Wireless Packets desktop. And you can see we are using the GoToMeeting client to connect 25 people together. And we could share everybody's desktop if we wanted to. Of course, not at the same time. GoToMeeting is a sponsor of our broadcast and general community. We're happy to have them aboard to be able to do things like this. And you can get a special 45-day unlimited trial, free, 45 days, by going to gotomeeting.com forward slash Chris Perillo. And I can tell you, the community loves GoToMeeting. Collaboration with audio, collaboration with live screen sharing can save you, obviously, time. Instead of traveling all over the place to, to share desktops, well, you might as well do it from the comfort of your own chair. So you can do more travel less, that's GoToMeeting. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Wireless Packet. He's going to tell us today about Ventrilo. Hello, everyone. Um, right now, we're at the Ventrilo website. And I'm just going to show you how to set up a Ventrilo server. Um, just to tell you a little bit about Ventrilo, Ventrilo is similar to Skype. Uh, it's a voice over IP uh, application. And uh, what the difference between Skype and Ventrilo, Ventrilo is uh, Skype transmits continuously while you're in a call or a conference. Ventrilo is push to talk or voice activated, so it saves bandwidth, and gamers love that. And we like it too because it's better for us. We were finding we were having issues with Skype, and uh, we were having bandwidth issues. Anyway, um, we're running a Windows uh, Windows 2000 here, and we downloaded the Windows i386 server. And there are other servers available. There's uh, oh, Linux, the server. Linux, Solaris, FreeBSD, and Mac OS X. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to click on download. It's going to download to your desktop. And uh, just double click on the file and it's, it's installed. And what you're going to do first is you're going to edit your uh, Ventrilo INI file. And what we did was we just customized our port, gave our server a name, and we changed our codec around. And we gave the codec, uh, the Speaks codec. And uh, how are you going to find out what, what numbers to use for the codecs? There's a PDF file on the Ventrilo website, which is right here. And we chose 3 and 32. It's just a higher quality codec. And it uh, transmits at uh, 5,520 5, bytes per second when, uh, when activated. So... Uh, when that's all done, you're going to have a terminal here that's going to pop up in DOS, DOS prompt. And uh, just going to show you the settings that you set up. And it's basically going to give you your internal IP address that you have uh, the, the machine that's running Ventrilo. Um, I made it a little easier for people to connect to, connect to the server. Um, I'm, you know, instead of them memorizing the IP address, I went to a service like uh, noip.com. And let me just bring that up. Noip.com is a free service. And what you do is you can get a dynamic DNS name. You, it's, you know, just go in, create a username and password, download the application, uh, run it in Windows. And what it does is it tells the servers at noip.com what your IP address is, the public IP. And you could make a name, let's say, like lockernome.myvnc.com. And it's easier for people to remember that when connecting to your eventual server. And that is it. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. And I know for the basic version of Ventrilo, you're only allowed to use eight uh, users. Eight users can join this, this server. Uh, for you to have more than eight users, you need to rent a server from an affiliate uh, hosting company uh, from the Ventrilo website. Now, Chris, do you want to show the, uh, the client? Yeah, I'm just going to drag my window over the GoToMeeting uh, live screen and this is what it looks like on a Mac and this is the Ventrilo client um, and if you can tell I've got a list of all the users that are active and I've got various options of course I could right click on any user and uh, decide to mute them or uh, do other things of course uh, for instance I can right click Lordcat
course, some, some of those tools are largely related to troubleshooting. Uh, it's just an easier way of managing conversations where you would normally have no control. For instance, uh, if Lord Cat was being loud, I could put him on mute, or I could kick him, I could uh, keep him from... Ah. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that little uh, bleat there. Um, <laughs> it's cool. You can talk, Lord Cat. It's no big deal. You're not on mute. Oh, well, cool. Right. Awesome. I was also going to show that if I wanted to move Lord Cat, being the administrator of the server, I could just uh, go to the move user 2 and just put him in the Q&A staging area. So I'm going to switch over to... Easily move him back. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Lord Cat's desktop now using GoToMeeting so we can see what the client looks like on Windows. You ready, Lord Cat? Yeah, why am I the punk in this one? How come you couldn't move him? We're now switching over to Lord Cat's desktop. This is as easy as it gets, I'm telling you. And we'll see him any second. Uh, you should be seeing me now, in fact. Yes, I do, although your desktop is gigantic. Okay, hang on. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, Windows client looks, uh, wow, way different. Similar elements. It's, uh, it, it's, it's definitely different. Uh, yeah, it has some similar elements, but it's, um... It has some more features that the Mac uh, client doesn't have. For example, I can right-click on Lockernome over here. I can go to Miscellaneous and Special Effects, and in the Special Effects tab, uh, I can basically uh, do all sorts of sound effects. So if uh, Chris here is too loud, which he often is, I can add a special effect, and uh, I can mute him, uh, selectively mute him. <laughs> Just, uh, sorry, Chris, I didn't mean to <clears throat> dish you on your own stream. Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I mean, it's it, it's a standard client. Uh, you have the server username, the bindings, uh, you disconnect, you can add a comment. Mine is uh, zomkpi. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, it's really a, a good application. Setup's pretty stiff. It, it's, it, I think it's, it's helpful for us when we're doing live streaming to have Ventrilo open rather than Skype because of the bandwidth usage, as well as, a, you know what, I'm so sick of Windows telling me that I have filter keys when I turn on... See, here's the thing. The reason why it would prompt me for that is that I have a setting in my Ventrilo client, a push to talk. So I only send out audio when I press the shift key. I've designated that as my keystroke. And unfortunately, if I'm <laughs> using Windows and holding down the shift key for longer than five seconds, it wants to turn on the accessibility. So good for Windows, but I apparently had not configured accessibility settings in Windows properly, so that's the reason why you saw that little dialogue. Anyway, I've got to give Ventrilo a thumbs up. Uh, people were using either that or TeamSpeak, and Lord Cat, if you want to pop up, if you have TeamSpeak installed, that's cool. If not, no big deal. Um, but uh, the idea behind Ventrilo, again, is to allow for easier, quicker, bandwidth-saving uh, collaboration. This is really weird. I'm running my OS X desktop atop the GoToMeeting session, which is running uh, uh, through to Jason's computer, which, of course, is running Windows Vista. This is just so weird. It's so somewhat surreal, I would say. Um, so that what you saw there for a second there was TeamSpeak, which would be an alternative to uh, Ventrilo for audio collaboration. Unfortunately, there's not a good TeamSpeak client for the Mac, so that's the reason why we really didn't dive too deeply into TeamSpeak. Um, so anyway, if you want uh, to really help us out, uh, you know, post any type of Ventrilo or TeamSpeak tips, which one do you like more? Um, do you know of another software that's just as easy to install and use uh, cross-platform? Uh, you know, or, or what do you think about uh, GoToMeeting and sharing people's desktops like what we've been doing here? Uh-oh, looks like Jason's opening up Paint. P-O-T-A. Yes, it's just not a, a Chris Perlow broadcast until someone says the word potatoes. 
Thanks again for that, Jason. Uh, you're welcome to leave a, a comment, a uh, remark, or send me feedback, chris at perillo.com. I'd be happy to hear from you. <laughs> and, of course, you're welcome to swing by the live chat room, which Jason is showing right now on his screen. And uh, that's where we're chatting. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.